Hi, I'm Jim with Stickland Security, and today I want to talk about what's going on with Amazon. Now, if you own one of the bazillion products that are out there, and that'd be like uh, Alexa or any of the Echo products or some of the Ring products, or you know, the list goes on and on. If you own one of these products from Amazon, on June 8th, you are automatically opting into their new service called Amazon Sidewalk. And you go, oh, so, all right, what's the big deal? And well, it turns out Amazon Sidewalk is going to start sharing your bandwidth at home, your internet bandwidth with your neighbors. And I'm not kidding about this. Like literally your neighbors will be able to use their devices. And if they don't have internet for some reason, they'll connect through your internet to go out to Amazon. And there's some pros and cons, but let me first, let me read to you what Amazon says, how they describe Amazon Sidewalk. Amazon Sidewalk is a shared network that helps devices work better. Operated by Amazon at no charge to customers, Sidewalk can help simplify new device setup, extend the low bandwidth working range of devices to help pets or valuables with tiled trackers, and help devices stay online even if they are outside the range of their home Wi-Fi. Now in theory, this sounds kind of cool. I mean, for example, if you're using one of the Ring security products and your internet goes down for some reason in your home, and at that same time you have some sort of security event, an alert notification could go from your Ring device through your neighbor's network and out to Amazon so you could get an alert notification on your phone. And that sounds pretty cool. Now the problem I have is that we have really no idea how secure this sucker is gonna be. Uh, Amazon has published a white paper that details out kind of the plan for their security. But the reality is my network is going to be accessible by my neighbors, which means that if there is a security flaw, my neighbors now have access to my network. And that's pretty concerning. And I realize, you know, Amazon say, hey, we've got it all figured out. We have all the security. And if you read their white paper, they've laid out all these layers of security that they're doing. But every product on the planet has had these outlines as well. Microsoft has lots of outlines about how they're doing all this great security. And yet they have new vulnerabilities all the time. Google's had vulnerabilities. Apple's had vulnerabilities. Why on earth are we going to assume that Amazon is going to be the first company in the history of companies that has figured it out on their first try, they're going to launch this out, and there's going to be zero vulnerabilities. This one's going to be done so right that there'll be no way it can be exploited and that your network at home can be put at risk. And what about bandwidth? So obviously, if your neighbor's connecting through your network, that means they're using up some of your bandwidth. And Amazon does address this, and they say, hey, we have some throttling put into place. And here's exactly how they word it. The maximum bandwidth of a sidewalk bridge to the sidewalk server is 80 kilobytes per second, which is about 1 40th of bandwidth used to stream a typical high definition video. Today, when you share your bridge connection with sidewalk, total monthly data used by sidewalk per account is capped at 500 megabytes, which is equivalent to streaming about 10 minutes of a high definition video. So clearly they're not going to be allowing your neighbor to just be on your network and going crazy. It's going to be limited to very specific functions and, and that's all, which is great. But did you notice that they had a very specific way they worded the thing? They started the second sentence by saying, today we are going to cap it at 500 megabytes. And you go, okay, well that's today. What about tomorrow? Like. They didn't put that word today in there just for the heck of it. They put that in there specifically to clarify in a way that was not too obvious that that's what they're doing today. But tomorrow, they may have chose to cap it at a gig or two gigs or three gigs. And I guarantee you, it's not like they're going to do some huge press release and announce, oh, by the way, this is what we're doing. And I also promise you, there's nothing in your system where you've got to opt in to them upping the amount of data they're going to cap it at. Another thing that really bugs me is the wording that Amazon is using when they're talking about working with third-party developers. And here's what they wrote. Amazon Sidewalk won't support third-party devices immediately at launch, but we will make careful choices about the information they receive from Sidewalk. We'll have more details in the future. So they're not going to share the data at first, but when they finally do, and you know they're going to, uh, they're going to be making careful choices. And I just can't help but wonder, are these the same careful choices that like Facebook made when they shared 87 million customer records with Cambridge Analytics? I don't know. Anyway, uh, Amazon Sidewalk might turn out to be some utopian Borg-like collective where we all work together for the greater good of mankind. But for me, it just rubs me the wrong way that they're just forcing everybody to opt in by default. I mean, this product has the potential for security risk. 
It definitely has the potential for privacy issues. And most importantly, it's allowing other people that I don't know to use my internet bandwidth without my permission. Now, if you disagree with me and you just can't wait to become part of the Amazon Collective, uh, that's great. Amazon's already read your mind. You don't have to do anything at all on June 8th. You're already opted in and you're part of the whole new system. On the other hand, if you're a little bit more paranoid and skeptical like I am, uh, what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and just put up the steps right here on the screen that you can take to walk through how to opt out of being part of this new Amazon sidewalk. Here they are right here. And uh, I'll leave it on the screen here for just a couple seconds. You can obviously pause if you need a longer amount of time. Well, that's all I got on this. If you want to read more information about Amazon Sidewalk, I'll go ahead and put the link here to their white paper. And you can do your own research and make up your own mind. Uh, for me, I'm just going to go with the wait and see approach and choose to opt out to begin with. And who knows, maybe it'll turn out to be a fantastic thing and I'll opt in later. Um, if you're not yet a uh, customer of Stickly on Security, at this point you should probably uh, question your own existence and then go check us out and uh, that'll be great. All right, you guys have a great day.